Hello, today we're going to do a little video on um, Space Finder Web UI and Space Finder ISPF dialog panels. Um, we're going to do a DASD usage report and we'll go into some historical trending data. Um, so we'll start out with the Space Finder Web UI and we'll pick detail on volumes. Now once you get into here you have uh, filter options. Uh, these are all the options that you could choose. Um, we're looking for as the usage. So we will go into percent used. And we'll say, let's say greater than 75%. Uh, you have different options here, greater than, equal to, less than, equal, between. We'll stick with the 75% and run it. Okay, so this would be a list of all your volumes that have 75% or over usage. Uh, you can see there's a graph, and if you just hover over the, uh, the graph um, bars, you can see it, it tells you the volume and the percent used. And, and below is the text portion of the report. So here's the individual address, the volume balsier, and the model, and cache. All right. So if you're interested in one specific volume, we'll pick this one. Uh, you could go into retrieve history on it and choose your dates. I'm going to just do one day because we take um, we collect data every 10 minutes, so it would get really large if I did more than one day. Okay, here's your uh, report, and if you, if you uh, pull down this panel, we'll get the text portion out and go to the graph. And the same thing, if you if you um, hover over each individual bar in the graph, it gives you the the timestamp and the percentage used. Uh, it's all the same here because it's just one day. Um, if this was uh, um, a regular production system, you would probably run the collect it once a day and this each one would be an individual day and you can actually see the trend um, for a month or six months whatever you're interested in okay so now we'll go back into the text uh, this is the text of the report and if you click on the individual timestamp you get all the information on that timestamp at that point in time with this volume so now uh, we're interested in a report on this. So we go down to report. And now you could choose your options on the report. We are doing history detail and detail history. And now you could preview the report. So this would be your report that you would print out. And you can see the trending graph on there. Okay, now we'll go to the ISPF version of Space Finder and uh, check out the same exact report. So now we're in Space Finder on ISPF mainframe, and we go into one pools volumes, and here we could do a display of all the volumes and you can see you have uh, the volunteer percent used and these are all the uh, fields on the report. Uh, I'll scroll to the right and you can see get a basic feel of what the report looks like for each individual volume here. Okay. Plenty of information there. This could all be sorted out. Um, you don't have to see all this information. Uh, you could just type in sort and you could choose the fields you want to see in your report. Uh, the truncated piece, uh, if you actually make this go out to report on the mainframe, there is a, a width limit so it actually tells you which, which is the last field you'd be able to see on the report. And 
and you can move um, the fields you're interested in into the, into the top piece by just changing the sequence numbers and it would give you the report uh, formatted the way you would like. Also you go to the side here and you hit PF1 and you can see your options for each volume. Uh, we're interested in the trending of the volume so we'll put option T. Um, you have a minimal interval and maximum, maximum number. Uh, you don't really need this. You could go with default, which I'm going to do. You could choose your hours and your count. But we'll go with default so we get everything. Okay. Now, I, I, uh, this is a test space finder, so these, the collectors are only run manually. I run them when I, when I need them. Uh, I ran one yesterday and I ran one today. But I, had, I haven't done one since July, and then prior to that was uh, beginning of the year. So you could see, um, if you actually run them every day, this would be, this would be uh, daily. Uh, each line would be every day in the report. And then you could see the trending on that. Um, it didn't change much for that volume. Uh, it's probably not used. Now you can see there's a space here. Uh, prior to June, we didn't have these fields, so any any history prior to June, you won't see anything in that spot. But if you're starting Space Finder fresh right now, uh, that wouldn't matter to you. And these are all the fields in the report. Okay, and actually, if you want to print out this report. Just type in report, it pulls up your JCL, and you could actually change the layout of the report in this if you just select it, and then it goes to the, the sort field, and you could change the sequence numbers onto the part of the report you want to see. We'll just leave it the way it is, but uh, you have the option, it goes all the way down to, um, what is it, it's 110 fields that are on that, on that report and you could just move them up if you need that actual field in the report. So we'll run this. Um, it's just basically telling you that it wouldn't get truncated. And you can see the job ended, TSF report. And And there's the actual report. And you can see the trending. Um, it's it's not, not a great example, but you can see that it did change. The cylinders did change since the beginning of the year. Um, July, it had a little more. And then, I mean, if you get an actual daily report, you would see the actual flow of the trend. But um, right now, I don't have all that data collected. So this is what I have to show you. And that's it. Uh, you could actually put in put in a volume here if you're just interested in one specific volume. And it still has the same options on the side here. And you can see it has the trending and the history. And I'll just take that out. And there's the trending for this specific volume. And that's it. Thank you very much.